Chevron is reporting a profit of roughly $36 billion for 2022. It's a record high for the company and up 36% from its previous record profit set back in 2011. Chevron, along with four other major oil companies, are expected to report roughly $190 billion in combined profits from 2022. Joining us now from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange is J.D. Durkin. He is the host of The Street. Great to have you. So let's just start off with why. Why was 2022 such a profitable year for these big oil companies? Well, there's certainly a reason why whenever this conversation is had, it largely starts and oftentimes ends with Russia's unjust ongoing war in Ukraine. It's amazing. It has not been the easiest last decade or so for a lot of these big oil companies, but the energy sector overall has been pretty good about reducing its debt and ultimately returning more and more cash to shareholders. But as we've seen this overall volatility happen with natural gas and oil components happening in global markets all around the world, it means that the day-to-day -day American consumer feels the price at the pump. And ultimately, this is a about basic supply and demand. Now, demand has gone up for a number of reasons. A is the idea of travel has shot up. We talk about revenge travel a lot, right? Hey, I, <laughs> I went to Switzerland a few months ago. I promised myself during the depths of the pandemic, I said, if and when we get out of this, I'm going to take the trip of my dreams and hike the Swiss Alps. People all around the world have had a similar mindset. And we're also more seriously seeing reopening efforts uh, out of China. So demand has gone up, but supply has stayed stagnant. We've seen the OPEC plus countries, those 13 countries that largely control the net export of crude petroleum. They've tamped down on their numbers. So as supply goes up and uh, yes, as, as excuse me, as demand goes up and supply comes down, ultimately prices are going to rise. It works to the benefit of these companies, but ultimately it makes things a lot more difficult for you and me and for your viewers at the pump day to day. Heading back to Chevron yesterday, the company announced a $75 billion buyback of its own stock, a decision that the White House criticized. Does this mean consumers gas money is going to pay raises for executives? So Chevron announcing this, this huge thing. Obviously, this is going to earn the ire of the Biden presidency and the White House and members of Congress. $75 billion plan here in shares and boosting dividend payments as well. And during the intro there, you mentioned profits coming in. Nearly $37 billion for Chevron, ExxonMobil, $57 billion, and $11 billion for Valero Energy as well. We've heard President Biden just a few weeks ago at the White House. He said emphatically, you should not be using your profits to buy back stock or for dividends. Instead, the president would like to see these companies reinvest these profits back into domestic production and helping ease the constraints of, of uh, some of the major U.S. refineries. But ultimately, honestly, there's very little that the president can do to put a lot of pressure on these companies. They are private companies. They have what's called a fiduciary responsibility. We use that phrase all the time, which means they have the right and the obligation to take care of their shareholders first and foremost. I expect that trend to continue. All right, J.D. Durkin, thank you very much. Thank you.